Hey guys, this is Miss Bessa Rabbit, and I was going to do a quick tutorial about this new periodic table assignment that I have placed in your Google Classroom. So I was going to go over just a few things with you. Um, this assignment is going to be what's going to really help introduce you to the periodic table. And it's going to be important that you go through all of the information with the website that it's recommended. So I'm going to go through just a few things with you. Um, you will be using Kami for this. So I have purchased a Kami account. So it is supposed to, if you open it through Google Classroom, it is supposed to add you to my license. So there should not be an issue as long as you are going through a Chrome browser and you are opening this assignment up through Google Classroom. So when you click on this and you go to open this, you should end up with this right here, open with Kami. And then once you open it with Kami, it's going to open it with the editing tools. I have already gone over, like I have a detailed video that is already posted in PLP about Kami that you guys could go back and go watch. It's on my YouTube page. Um, I have a link to my YouTube page posted in PLP that you could go and watch that. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and just go through every little thing about Kami, but the primary thing you're going to be using for this is text boxes. Click text box, insert it, put your image. Over here, it does want you to do a drawing. You do have a drawing tool so that you'll be able to do that. This is going to be the website that you're going to be using in order to do this, and it is going to explicitly tell you what to click on in order to be able to find these answers. So it tells you that you're going to click on items and then click on structure. So I'm going to show you this is the website. So if I go click items, there's items. And then you have a menu over here to your far right side and here's structure. So you would be able to click on structure. And then you'll be able to go through this and this is where you're going to find the information. This is what you'll end up drawing in that drawing section. And this is where you'll get a lot of your information like right here in this part um, in order to respond to that little box. It'll be within this and on down into here where you'll get the information to answer those boxes. Um, it, that first page will go with that, and then it's going to tell you to go and click on the periodic table. So if you went back to this and you scroll back up to the top, you're going to see where you've got the periodic table, and you would click on to that. And then you're going to have this information here, and that will help you be able to respond to these questions about the periodic table. So then you're going to go on down to the next part, and this is really giving you information. So you don't even really have to be on the website. It is explaining to you about what each of the tiles of the periodic table, like what the stuff means in each one of those blocks. So then from having look at this information, you should be able to respond to these questions. You're not even using that website. This gives you information about groups and families, but again, it's telling you you need to be at Kim's for Kid periodic table, and so now it's asking you about what are the elements in the alkali family. So if you are at the periodic table and you keep scrolling down, it is going to get to right here. You could even go right here, and you can just go specifically to the alkali metals. Um, and, and it would tell you that. So you can use this little menu over here to kind of toggle back and forth in between the things that it's going to ask you about the different families as you scroll down through the rest of this um, to be able to complete this. This assignment is, is a Kami assignment. It's assigned to Google Classroom. You should have the ability, hopefully, that once you've completed this assignment, I know on the student end, it, it might possibly show right here that you could turn it in to me. But even if it didn't show you there that you could turn it in to me, if you were back in your actual assignments, for most of the time when you click View Assignment, it, it's going to pop up a box here for you that says to turn it in. So that's what this is assignment is about. That is what I'm expecting you guys to get started on. I am going to put a hard due date on this. Um, I'm going to say that the due date on this is going to be the 18th, which is Friday. So that gives you today through Friday in order to be able to get this assignment completed. I did have down the 17th. The reason I'm backing it up one day is due to the fact that we're going to be doing Scantron here at school. I do believe they're going to have you guys do Scantron, but I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go down yet. I will update you once I know more about it.
Anyways, if you have any questions, all you have to do is send me a POP message, email me, whatever. You guys have numerous ways of knowing how to contact me. But hopefully this will at least help guide you so that you can get started on this assignment and work your way through it. Have a good day.